say that my next guests are comedians, movie stars, and late night hosts. Please welcome the host of Full Frontal, Samantha B. The host of Last Week Tonight, John Oliver. The star of the Hangover movies and the Office and Helms. And the star of Hot Tub Time Machine and Ballers, Rob Portray. And we sit. And we sit. Okay. Now, I'd like to start off by saying... Steven? Yes. Steven, it's so Am I doing this Steven? wrong? <laughs> Just don't make eye contact. <laughs> don't give him food or he won't go really away. Hot. It's for warmth. I want to start off by saying that this arrangement we have right now is exactly something we would have made fun of on The Daily Show. Yep. Because yeah. it, yes. like, it looks like a morning show. Right now. It does. Empty, yeah. I think empty the thing mugs. I'm proudest of from The Daily Show was diversity. I think that's the thing that. <laughs> that's what this proves. Yeah. There's a bald guy. That's it proves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not wearing a jacket. So, okay, so, uh, John, you start The Daily Show. Let's just go down memory lane. You start The Daily Show in 1999. I started in it in 1999, it started in 96. There is no proof that The Daily Show existed before you got there. <laughs> Because I've looked at the Comedy Central website, and I think they burned all the tapes. <laughs> I started, I was there before John, not yes. to throw weight around. I was at The Daily Show before you were. Yes. I started uh, 20 years ago, in 1997. I met you at the press conference this. where I got to be introduced as the host. Stephen uh, showed up and asked me a question as a member of the press. Right, because when it was announced you were going to be the person, which they didn't tell anyone on the staff, that right. John was going to be the new host. Uh -huh. They just announced a press conference, and I said, well, I'm the... On the Daily Show, I think we would cover this press conference. <laughs> sure. So I just showed up unannounced and I said, "Now, um, Mr. Stuhl, my question: The fact that you've been announced as the host of the Daily Show, how does that impact my chances of becoming the host of the Daily <laughs> Show?" I remember. I remember, and I, I turned to the president of Comedy Central at that time and I said, uh, "I thought you told me he wasn't funny." <laughs> and thereby, a great friendship was born. <laughs> so who started? Who started next after me? When did you start? Uh, we both started the exact same time. That's right. Same day. Two thousand and we auditioned you two on the same. I think it was on the same yeah. day. Yeah. There were auditions. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We, had auditions. we had a whole process. Oh, we yeah. went through the gauntlet. And you find out later that those uh, auditions are televised throughout the entire building. Yes. That is true. Yes. So oh, you're sitting there and everybody's watching it? By the way, it's, all, it's on all the monitors in the entire building. Yeah. If you, if you guys don't remember your early field pieces, we have a clip together here. Uh, it's just a little snippet. It's a, it's, a, it's a little snippet here. It starts off with Ed. It's, it's you getting a mole removed from your nose was your first piece. Mm -hmm. I think you're covering gay penguins. Yeah, that was one. That was not her first. It wasn't my that first. It was early. These are early ones. Early piece. Uh, I, Rob, I think that you're you're talking about uh, how Spider-Man <laughs> craze. I don't remember. And Oliver, uh, yours is about war reenactors. Correct. All right, uh, Jim. It's a mole, a harmless mole. If I were to get this removed, um, is the tube in my rectum? Is that a very uncomfortable part? In your rectum. Is that? If you were to believe the producers of Spider-Man, a leotard is a sexy outfit that attracts the ladies. But after an exhaustive investigation, I learned that that's simply not the case. Really funny, thank you. Nice set. Yeah, yeah, thanks. How many gay penguins do you actually have? Three pairs that are same sex. One female-female pair among the Gentoo penguins and two male-male pairs among the chin straps. So two of your Gentoo penguins and four of your <laughs> penguins are gay. A chin strap penguins. That's what I said. Mark! <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> John Oliver had come face to face with the true face of war. I think I've broken my nose. I was gravely injured. It replayed in my mind, in black and white, in slow motion, with cartoon sound effect. <laughs> okay. 
John, did you ever did you ever <laughs> feel bad about what you were setting us out to do? No. <laughs> No, I, I enjoyed it and would try and, and, and heighten it. No. I, John's lucky that we didn't do that bit on pavement. We were going to do that all. <laughs> Did you ever, uh, Sam, do you ever remember like going out and like being afraid like this person might throw a punch at me or something like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I mean, I would spend days with with the worst homophobes and sometimes just the worst people you could possibly imagine and you have to get them to engage in this big sketch that you've done and you've taken three airplanes to get there and right. you need them to give you some content so you have to be really nice to them all day in the their big home. homophobes were never around good travel hubs <laughs> that was always the worst part about the big homophobes yeah. the, always the big homophobes always had to take a little puddle plane and then like <laughs> another little thing to, yeah. I had to flee the clan one night. Oh, you, yeah. I had to I, flee the clan. Yeah. It was my second field piece. That's right. Wow. Yeah. Right. I made the mistake of, of we were doing Comedy Central uh, station IDs at the time on our shoots, and uh, we went out to a cross burning in the countryside. <laughs> and as you do, uh -huh. it was a summer kicker. Like, let's find out where the clan was formed. So we went to Pulaski, Don't Tennessee. Don't make this story sound like Steel Magnolias. Like, it so was, we went though. out. So we I was invited out, and they don't know who I was, and we go out to this cross burning in the countryside, and, and, and I go, oh, this would be a perfect summer kicker, and like a little thing, so there's a cross burning behind me, and I said, I'm Stephen Colbert, and this is Comedy Central. <laughs> and I looked around, and then there are guys, big guys in hoods, saying to me, comedy what? What is this now? Where are y'all from? And I said, and I said, oh, my, my producer right here will talk to you. <laughs> Oh. And as you know, yeah. all yeah. the producers, so this is Stephen Colbert, all the producers are short Jews. So, <laughs> basically, he's sending a small mouse into a lion's den. Well, this is actually, uh, and, a, and a woman as well, she came over at the moment, and, and she goes, what is the problem? And he goes, what's this comedy thing? Are you making fun of the Klan? And she goes, look, guys, the president of the Klan's over there across the field. He knows all about what we're doing. Go talk to him. And they said, we're going to. And they all walk off across the field. <laughs> and she goes, haul ass! <laughs> and we ran as fast as we could. That's awesome. Uh, we got to take a break. We'll be right back with more. Sambi, Ed Helms, Rob Corddry, John Oliver, and John Stewart. Stick around. <laughs>